Hmm. And this next story is so incredibly disheartening because it feels like it says a lot about where we were, where we are as a country. So a woman boarded a train in Pennsylvania on Wednesday and was raped in front of the other train car passengers and no one did anything. And when I say that no one did anything, I mean they did not even call 911, according to not just reports, but also the surveillance footage from the closed circuit television cameras. A man whom officials identified as Fiston Yoy had sat down next to a woman at about 10 p.m on a train traveling westbound on the Market Frankfurt line towards 60. I don't even know where any of this is. All I know is that Mr. Neoy attempted to touch this woman a few times, says the spokesperson for the southeastern Pennsylvania uh, Transportation Authority, Andrew Bush. It's also known as SEPTA. The woman pushed back and the suspect proceeded to tear off her clothes and then raped her in full view of all of the other passengers. Now, the entire assault lasted about eight minutes. Timothy Bernard, the superintendent of the Upper Darby Township Police Department said Sunday, quote, I'm appalled by those who did nothing to help this woman. Anyone that was on that train has to look in a mirror and ask why they didn't intervene and why they didn't do something, end quote. And of course, there are reports that were confirmed today by police after they viewed that CCTV footage that said passengers had their, fil their phones up towards the incident and they think that they were recording it. They haven't confirmed it completely yet or confirmed the footage, but if so, they could be maybe criminally charged, uh, at least for recording footage. I know New York has a, has a good Samaritan law, but what came to my mind immediately with the story is our busybody culture. Because every day we see people getting yelled at for not wearing masks, especially like some of the footage from grocery stores or Target. How many of you remember the footage from Target where a man was following a woman around, intimating that she was a murderer because she had already had coronavirus, that she already had natural immunity, so she chose not to wear a mask. And he was saying it wasn't the same thing as having the vaccine and saying that because she wasn't wearing a mask that she was akin to a murderer. How many times have you seen this? Video circulated on social media of people harassing each other over some stupid trivial face panty offense, not even a real offense. We also watched mobs walk into restaurants demanding people raise their fists in solidarity with any kind of SJW cause. And we seem to be living in a society full of hall monitors, busybodies in your business telling you how to live. Where were all of these Karens on this subway train? Not a single person could be troubled to lift a finger in defense of a woman who is being raped in full view not even make a 911 call on her behalf? What does it say about a society that feels that women have to be disarmed because, you know, guns could hurt criminals, but we're not going to intervene if you're getting raped on a train, but we will yell at you if you're not wearing a mask or if we don't think you're vaccinated. Yeah, but you hear they're reluctant to stop rape of a woman in full public view. Maybe this time in American history, it's meant to test us, I don't know. I just think that's so, it's, we're failing as a nation. No wonder aliens don't visit us. We'd be lucky if we got hit by an asteroid. We're discovering that we're petty, authoritarian, busybodies, some of us are, who peek over our neighbor's fence to rat them out, who are constantly stalking people on social media to see if they live their life in a way that the lifeless apparently approve of. And then we all look away when real evil transpires. We look away when people are canceled because nobody wants to lose any of their personal capital. We lose our livelihoods due to mandates that don't have any full force or effect of law and violate people's bodily autonomy. And yes, even in this extreme case as well, it's a sad state of affairs.